Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Once you have successfully established connection with Amazon and loaded all the active marketplaces in Odoo, the next step will be mapping all the products from both the platform. Product mapping is the most important process as without it, no other operations can be performed. In today's video, we will see product mapping process. Basically, during this process, system will map product identifiers on both the platforms. Odoo's product identifier is internal reference or barcode, whereas on Amazon side, Amazon's product identifier will be Amazon SKU, that is stock keeping unit. Now here there can be two possibilities. Sellers can have the same code for both the platform, that is on Odoo side, the internal reference will be same as their Amazon SKU. Or the other way, they can manage their Odoo's internal reference different than the Amazon SKU. In Amipro's Amazon Odoo connector, we manage this both the case. So let me show you how you can synchronize your product on both the platform. So let me go to Amazon module. I'll go to operations. Select the seller. Select operation 4 that is FBA and FBM. Now here I can see two possibilities. The first one is map product and the second one is import product. So map product is to be used when my Odoo's internal reference is different than my Amazon SKU. Whereas import product operation can be used when my Odoo's identifier is the same as my Amazon SKU. In the coming videos, we will see both of this process in detail. But for now, let us understand what happens once the product has synchronized on both the platform. So once I have performed this operation, I can see all this Amazon product here under the product tab, product variant. Now here I would like to show you one thing that we are not directly synchronizing your Odoo product with the Amazon product. Instead, we are adding this additional layer over here wherein we are storing the information that is related to your Amazon product like the seller SKU, which Odoo product it is linked to, then the Amazon information, fulfillment option, marketplace and the listing elements. So these are all the information that we are storing in this additional product layer. But another thing I would like to share with you that we are not managing variant product. So say for example, you manage the variant structure on both the hands that is on Odoo side and also you are managing the variant product on Amazon side, but we are not managing the variant structure here in the additional product layer. So what we are doing, we are synchronizing your Odoo's variant with the Amazon variant. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.